Moderate a panel discussion. Introduction. A panel discussion is a moderated conversation between experts in front of an audience. Discussions of this type provide the opportunity for an audience to hear several speakers discuss and debate their points of view, beliefs, and expertise on a specific topic. Some panels include questions from the audience to expand the discussion and increase audience engagement. <clears throat> In this project, you will learn effective moderation techniques, how to host panel discussions, and how to prepare yourself and the panelists. You will develop knowledge about what is expected of you as a panel member, proper etiquette for speaking and responding on a panel, and tools for providing the best experience for your audience, yourself, and other panel members. You will learn to adjust for any changes during the panel and how to create a comfortable atmosphere for learning and interaction. Your assignment. Purpose. The purpose of this project is to apply your skills as a public speaker and leader to, to facilitate a panel discussion. Overview. Plan and moderate a 20 to 40 minute panel discussion. The panel discussion can be on any topic and it may take place at a club meeting or outside of a Toastmasters with the approval of your Vice President of Education. Toastmasters who participate as panelists do not receive credit in Toastmasters Pathways. When you have the opportunity, volunteer to act as a panelist for another member completing this project. <clears throat> I am comfortable directing a group conversation. I am able to keep a group focused on the topic at hand. I understand what is expected of a panel moderator before, during, and after a discussion. I am confident that I will be able to field any questions or concerns. I have the confidence to foster a comfortable environment. I am able to overcome challenges and face the unexpected elements of moderating an event. I recognize how this project applies to my life outside of Toastmasters. I know what to expect when participating on a panel. I am comfortable speaking on a panel as a topic expert. I am able to share speaking time with others. I am able to engage in active debate and discussion without getting personal. I understand what is expected of panel discussion participants before, during, and after the discussion. I recognize how this project applies to my life outside of Toastmasters. The following is a list of competencies that you will learn and practice in this project. Practice effective moderation techniques. Identify panel members appropriate to the subject matter. Prepare yourself and the participants for a panel. Be prepared to answer questions or concerns. Learn the correct etiquette before, during, and after the panel. Foster a comfortable environment for learning and interaction. Your responsibilities. As the moderator of a panel discussion, you are responsible for generating the questions to keep the conversation moving forward. You are also expected to bring a degree of expertise to the panel discussion and provide the audience with a memorable educational experience. As a panel participant, your goal is to maintain a clear focus when you speak and contribute to a discussion that informs and maintains audience interest. 
Prepare to moderate. Prepare to moderate a panel by knowing and understanding the topic. You may either receive the topic from your hosting organization or create the topic on your own. Receiving a topic. If you have been asked by an organization to moderate a panel, they will provide the topic. Take time to research the subject of your panel discussion. A well-rounded knowledge enables you to moderate with confidence and efficiency. Choosing a topic. When selecting your own topic for panel discussion, focus on your objectives, interests, and knowledge. Establish your personal objectives for the panel and the message you want to express. Consider who may be in your audience and the impact of any potential topic. Look to your own interests and expertise for guidance. Your passion for a particular subject can appeal to an audience and create a more dynamic panel discussion. Once you have decided upon a topic, take time to research. The more you understand of the subject, the more likely you are to present relevant facts to an audience and guide the panel to provide pertinent information. Prepare. Preparing on a panel gives you the opportunity to interact with people of different, differing opinions. Participating on a panel gives you the opportunity to interact with different people of differing opinions. Knowing how to prepare is helpful, whether you are an experienced panelist or participating for the first time. <clears throat> Preliminary research is vital to making the most of any panel discussion. Understand the purpose of the panel and prepare the information necessary to provide appropriate content on your area of expertise. Learn about the context of your panel by speaking to the moderator ahead of time. Once you are clear on the purpose of the panel, study any news stories, statistics, or other sources that connect your topic with the personal interests of your audience. Having a well-rounded knowledge of the topic and how your skill set fits in with the other panelists helps fuel the conversation. Other panelists. Research the other panelists and be prepared to defend your position in the face of opposing views. If you discover a panelist with expertise or a point of view that is similar to yours, communicate ahead of time and establish guidelines for who will cover the different facets of the topic. Regardless of similar or differing viewpoints, all interactions with fellow panelists must be thoughtful and respectful. Question and answer session. Many panel discussions include a question and answer session for, with the audience. There is no way to know for sure what an audience member will ask, but you can prepare by creating a list of potential questions and answers that apply to your area of expertise. <clears throat> what to wear. Check with the panel moderator for any special information about the venue, topic, or audience that would impact your choice of attire. Dress is appropriate for the occasion. Professional attire is usually a safe choice. Prepare to participate on the panel. Audience members may possess a pre-existing bias or agenda. If you are addressing a formal organization, research its background and history in advance and incorporate that understanding into your responses. If contention arises with an audience member, acknowledge the individual's main points and thank her for her con contributing. You may choose to reiterate your point of view or factual information and then defer to the moderator. Whether you choose to engage with an audience member or not, sustain a calm tone of voice and always maintain your professionalism. Different viewpoints. Consider the different viewpoints that need to be addressed and find the best representatives for each. Varying points of view give the audience the opportunity to make up their own minds about a topic.
choosing panel members. Choose a diverse group of panel members who can be relatable and char charismatic, articulate their expertise on the topic, teach the topic to others, answer a variety of questions related to the topic, represent diverse skills, expertise, and background, embody varying viewpoints to give a robust view of the topic. Invite the experts. Generally, a panel discussion works best with up to four participants, depending on the topic. Keep time constraints in mind. If your time is limited, invite fewer speakers. The people you choose to help you complete your assignment may not be familiar with the best practices for participating on a panel. Distribute the panelist basics resource to guide them while they prepare. Plan your questions. Once you know the, your topic and the participating panelists, assemble a list of questions. Keep in mind each speaker's expertise along with the intended message and objective of the event. Create a list of additional questions you anticipate the audience may have for your panelists. Devise open-ended questions to allow for broader, more interesting discussion. Consider a statement that instructs the speakers on what to address, such as, Tell me more about your experience in the field. The question should prompt conversations among the panelists. Open-ended questions require your speakers to answer with more than a yes or no. Preparing panelists. Prepare your panelists with substantial context and the questions beforehand to pave the way for smooth and successful discussion. Being an expert on a topic does not necessarily mean that all relevant knowledge is at the forefront of one's mind. With enough time to prepare, your panel can alert you to any concerns. If you have questions involving data or statistics, your speakers may need time to research information to support their answers. There is also the possibility that one of your questions might trigger something negative for a speaker, or perhaps she is not at liberty to discuss a certain subject. If this occurs, discuss the challenge with your panel member and decide if the topic can reasonably be avoided or if the panelists will need to be replaced. Remember to review practical day-of-the-event information with your panelists as well. Prepare a schedule and suggested time limits for responses whenever possible. This will help avoid confusion or upset when time is more limited or longer than a panelist expects. Use the following strategies to begin your presentation. When your panel event begins, wait for participants to be seated and introduce the topic to be discussed. Restate what's written in your, public, in your publicity materials. This serves as a great reminder to the audience of the topic to be discussed. After introducing the topic, introduce yourself. Your audience will want to know who you are and why you are moderating the panel. Introduce the panelists or let them introduce themselves as long as they know in advance so they're prepared. Introductions explain why the panelists were invited to speak on the topic and include their background and expertise. Knowing more about the experts who are speaking may help the audience feel more of a connection to the topic and the panelists. Strategies. Consider professional behavior. Considerate professional behavior is integral to your participation on a panel. Read over the following strategies to learn more. Sharing the time. As a respectful panel member, you must share speaking time with the other panelists. Track the length of your responses. Observe the body language of the other panel members and the audience while speaking. If they are expressing a sense of disinterest, it may be time to conclude your remarks so that another speaker can take over the discussion. By allowing someone else to speak, you show your audience that you are respectful of different points of view. Sharing personal stories. There are times when a personal example can effectively highlight a point. Consider the relevance and appropriateness of your story. Make a list of personal anecdotes that relate to the topic beforehand to ensure an organized, polished presentation. Communicating with respect. All speakers' opinions must be respected. Engaging in a healthy debate during a panel is appropriate and may even be expected. 
make sure your remarks never turn into personal attacks. Respect is shown in your verbal and nonverbal behavior. Be aware of your body language when someone else is speaking. Look at the speaker and listen to what she has to say. The audience will notice if you are not actively engaged. Fielding unexpected questions. Part one, create a list of potential questions the audience might have and be prepared to answer them. When faced with the questions for which you don't have an answer, pause to gather your thoughts. You may repeat the question for clarification before giving your response. Fielding unexpected questions, part two. If you don't have an answer, let the audience member know. You may choose to tell the audience member that you'll look into the issue and respond with an answer if time and circumstances allow. Depending on the type of panel, this may happen through a coordinated post-panel feedback or with a personal response at a later date. Adapting your public speaking skills. A panel is not a presentation or a speech. The audience members are there to form their own opinions on a topic based on information from the panelists' various perspectives. Keep your communication style conversational. An open style and tone will encourage other panelists and the audience to listen to your point of view. Avoid providing too much information at once. Too much information might confuse or overwhelm your audience. Instead, talk about how your expertise relates to the topic and may apply to audience members and their lives. Moderator, create a comfortable environment. Demonstrate your confidence and poise as the moderator through your body language and voice. Poise is your ability to stay calm under pressure and reassures your audience that you have control of the room. Calm. Remain calm even if something unexpected happens or there are difficult audience members who may challenge the panelists' expertise or opinions. You can review how to respond to some types of difficult audience members in the elective project Managing a Difficult Audience. Focus. Your goal as a moderator is to focus on the objective of the panel and keep it at the center of the discussion. Timing. Keep track of the time during the panel discussion. Make sure that each panelist is given a fair amount of speaking time and that the event event ends at the expected hour. During the discussion, subtopics may be raised. You may have anticipated some of them in advance and identified time for them. Don't hesitate to bring the discussion to a halt if you feel the topic and subtopic have been covered. If a panel member speaks too long about a particular topic, you may need to respectfully stop the discussion and move on. Even if the information is valuable, you have a responsibility to the other panelists in your audience. If you have to stop a panelist during his response, be conscious of your tone. Wait until he finishes a point, thank him for his contribution, and explain that for the sake of time you have to move on. Participating in a panel. In the following section, you will be asked to answer questions based on the scenario below. The purpose of the activity is for you to think about and review the best practices for responding to questions when you participate on a panel. Scenario. You are an excellent panel participant and have never been asked to sit on a panel for your Toastmaster district. This panel is discussing the best ways to become a successful speaker. In the following screens, choose the best response to each audience question. Pay close attention to the feedback windows that appear after you answer the question. The information provided there will clarify the reason for a particular answer, why it is effective or ineffective. What is the most important thing you need to learn to be a successful public speaker? Practice is the most important thing you can do. Speak as often as possible and evaluate other speakers in your club. Avoid speaking in public until you are completely confident in every word you say. Memorize every word of your speech. When you memorize, you are less likely to make a mistake. How does volunteering to be a leader in Toastmasters help with meeting my goals and to be a better speaker. 
When you volunteer, you have less time to speak for yourself, but you see how other people speak. Leaders and Toastmasters have many opportunities to speak and to hear high-quality speakers. It is really true, the more you contribute, the more you gain. Volunteering provides no benefit to your public speaking abilities. I would like to compete in next year's international speech contest. How do I begin develop, to develop a speech to reach that level? You will think of a topic closer to the event. Don't worry about it. Ask your mentor to help you. Start now by choosing a topic that interests you. Enter contests at your club, area, and district to hone your contest, to hone your content and your skills. Question and answer. After you have concluded the panel discussion, provide the audience with a quick summary of the discussion that took place. Then you can move into the question and answer period if this is planned. A question and answer period will not be as structured as the panel discussion, but there are procedures to keep it running smoothly. To maintain momentum, repeat each audience member's question and identify it and identify a specific panelist for an answer. Do your best to match the question with the appropriate panelist expertise. Use more generalized questions as an opportunity to involve more panelists. If the audience doesn't ask questions, you can pose your own predetermined questions to the panelists for a response. During a question and answer period, continue to manage overall time as well as the amount of time that each panelist speaks. If one panelist is monopolizing speaking time, thank her for her answer and direct the question to a different individual. As you approach the scheduled end of your session, let the audience know Time allows for only one more question. After this question has been answered, give a brief summary of the presentation. If planned, let the audience know that they can talk to the panelists in an identified area of the facility. This allows for networking and building new relationships, an excellent benefit of attending the event. Express thanks. Whether you are the moderator or panelist, be sure to thank the audience and all other participants. Acknowledge that you are privileged to participate and that you, too, learn from the experience. Be prepared to make yourself available after the panel to meet with attendees and answer any questions. There are times when a panel discussion does not go as expected, when panelists do not work well together either because they are at odds or one monopolizes the conversation. It falls to the moderator to adjust the format of the event. Direct the conversation away from topics that are overtly con contentious or divisive. Set time limits for each panelist to speak, limiting conversations or arguments between panel members. Stop conversations altogether and allow each panel member to give a speech expressing his point of view without interruption. In the event, when the interventions are ineffective, thank your panel, your audience, and close the discussion. Review and apply. List some of the effective moderation techniques. How will you identify panel members that are appropriate for your subject matter? What steps can you take to prepare yourself and your panel members for your panel discussion? How can you best prepare to answer questions during your panel discussion? What are the most important rules of etiquette before, during, and after a panel discussion? What steps can you take to foster a comfortable environment for learning and interaction? Now that you have read through the project, plan and prepare your speech or report. Use the menu screen at the bottom of the page to return to your assignment and review the assignment. Organize the project ch checklist on the left side of this screen. Review the steps and add your own to organize and prepare your assignment. 
Work with the Vice President of Education to schedule your panel discussion. Prepare your evaluation. Go to the Your Evaluation screen and review the evaluation criteria. Print or send the evaluation resource to your evaluator.